thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel this is going to be a very quick message when you cast out the spirit of violence i've spoken a lot about it in the past in my longer videos and also in my remind videos i've mentioned often when you cast out the spirit of violence you will encounter anomalies around you because when you cast out the spirit of violence you're dealing with the root issue you're not dealing with circumstances you're not dealing with the attitude of other people even though both are relevant because both are there and both can have an oppressive outcome on you so you mention the circumstances you mention the behavior of fear of other people those, those are there you are realistic you acknowledge them but that's not the root issue when you deal with the paranormal root of violence which is the spirit of violence itself when that spirit loses its grip on you let me tell you there are going to be people that can't approach you anymore there are going to be people that just don't know how to communicate with you anymore and not only that once you have been freed from the spirit of violence and you've been recovered from the hold of that entity now you can process things better mentally also emotionally and now you will know you will notice a lot of weird things around you it can be that you are at a cafe you've, you've called you've been to the cafe often the guy pours in your coffee as he often does but now that you have been delivered from the spirit of violence you see him and this is if you see all kinds of wounds invisible wounds it is if you see the guy but now you see like there's some heaviness around him what has happened that the guy when he was growing up his parents used to use verbal violence against him just to have their way and the, that guy grew, grew up thinking that his parents have the right to do that to him so he took that from his teachers and from his bosses for the guy is not a criminal it doesn't bother anyone else but he has this having energy around him that uncle spirits used to keep, have an hold on him and the spirit of violence is working through his friends to keep him in a state of intimidation now he when he doesn't like something he opens his, opens his mouth he just says what he thinks so you may think that guy is not intimidated at all that guy speaks up his mind he's straight up no he's under a spirit of intimidation but before you were freed from the grip of the spirit of violence you didn't notice it now that you've been freed now what was there all along becomes obvious to you and now you think what it can be more things it can be that you have i don't say you have a community a small, uh, a small village and you've been there before and you think these people are very kind and loving they're very respectful yet a, yet a good impression of the village and when you were there were tourists also five years later you've been delivered it's also from the grip of the spirit of violence now on your computer screen you look at videos taken by tourists of five years ago when you were there and now when you look at those videos you think what those people they're kind of they look kind of angry at each other and you think, hold on a minute, why didn't I see this when I was there? I was there. And here's the thing, you mention it to other people around you, saying those people, they look quite angry at each other. But those people look at the computer screen and say, I don't see them being angry at one another. And here's the thing, they seriously don't see it. You can see it because you've been freed from the grip of the spirit of violence. So, when you are free from the grip of the spirit of violence, I'm telling you don't be surprised when there are many absurd circumstances happening to you don't be surprised don't be surprised that people and a lot of people use social media today I don't use it often anymore don't be surprised someone just blocks you and later tells you contact me on Facebook man and I can think what come on you just blocked me a month ago and now you ask me contact me on on that same platform you block me on and you think huh what's going on here or it can be that certain people just look at you lash out move away 
and the next day they are there, they're saying hi as if nothing ever happened. They don't even remember that they lashed out against you. And you think, huh? What's going on? The entities that are attached to them are frightened when they see you. And this fright is transferred to them physically, and they respond to this fright. They often do it unconsciously, they do not even notice it, but they respond to this fright. And you notice this fright, and you think it's them being against you. But it's really the fact that the spirit of violence has no grip on you anymore means that all that bad tension backfires. And, and when those entities that are attached to them sense the backfiring, they, they get frightened. So when you are freed from the grip of the spirit of violence, expect to experience anomalies. That doesn't mean that you're crazy, nor that you're hallucinating, you're just seeing things as they are. Let me tell you, people often talk about the spirit of fear, spirit of fear, the spirit of this, the spirit of that, the spirit of violence. People should talk more about that entity because those entities, spirits of violence, or whatever name you give them, if they are cast out from someone, many other things like poverty, sickness, or stagnation, many of those things can't happen. Many of those other things will fight to happen, but they can't happen because the spirit of violence ain't there. The violence need to be there for all the other, those other things to work. If violence ain't there, it can't work. When you're freed from the grip of the spirit of violence, let me tell you, it is as if you have this magnetic um, wall around you. It's not a real wall, but you have this magnetic wall around you. And anything that's threatening that tries to get through, gets back. And some people may sense as if you have something with you. And they think, oh, what is this? That's why they get frightened also. That's why they look at you, but they can't stand looking at you for too long. Because that power that's with you, they sense it, but they don't know how to process that, process that power. Okay. I may have spoken too fast in this video. That's why I had to slow down for a while. Just understand this. You will experience anomalies when you walk by faith. Okay? So, if the spirit of violence is gone, there will be people going with that entity. Praise the Lord. Be at peace.